In this video, we will go over the design parameter settings on your A15 control panel. Once I have selected my design in my design library, I can move on to my second screen, which is my design parameter settings. In this screen, I can rotate and scale my design in size as needed, as well as set it up to repeat itself several times in the same sew out. To see the design that I'm working with, I can tap the flower and magnifying glass icon in the bottom right corner. And my design will appear in the preview window above. To rotate my design in a 90 degree increment, I can use the direction box and the letter P to rotate my design from 0 to 270 degrees or mirror my design from 0 to 270 degrees as well, giving me eight different options. To set this design up to embroider on a cap, I'll need to rotate my design to 180 degrees. I can do this by tapping the letter P twice to turn it into the letter D. And then tap the flower and magnifying glass icon to refresh the design. I'll then see in my preview window that this design has been rotated 180 degrees and would be ready to be sewn out on a cap. To rotate it back to zero, I will tap the letter D until it becomes the letter P back at zero degrees. To refresh the design again, I will tap the flower and magnifying glass icon. To rotate this design a degree other than a 90 degree increment, I will use the angle box below. If I need to rotate this design 45 degrees, I will tap the zero in the angle box and type in 45. And tap the check mark to confirm it, and tap the flower and magnifying glass icon to refresh my preview window above, and I'll see my design is now rotated 45 degrees. The direction and angle boxes are always going to add together. So since my P is currently at 0 degrees, my angle is set at 45, that means my design is rotated 45 degrees. If I'd like to put my angle back to 0 as well, I will tap the 45, clear the number, and type in 0, and tap the check mark to confirm it. To refresh the design once again, I will tap the flower and magnifying glass icon. To scale my design in size, and either increase the size or decrease the size, I will use the scale X and Y boxes down below. If I need to increase this design, by 5%. I'll tap the 100 on the left hand side and type in 105. Tap the check mark to confirm it and then type in 105 on the right hand side as well. This will increase my design by 5% and I can do the same in the other direction if I'd like to decrease the design by 5% as well. If I need to adjust the size of the design more than 5%, I would encourage you to do this in your design uh, software, as doing it on the control panel can cause problems when you go to sew out the design later. To return back to this design's normal size, I will type, tap the 105 and type in 100. And now this design is back at its normal size. To set this design up to repeat itself several times in the same sew out, such as if I'm sewing out patches, I will use these four different settings here on the, the right side of the control panel. In these settings, I can control how many times I'm repeating the design and the amount of space I'd like to put in between each design as well. For more information on how to do this, please refer to the manual that came with your embroidery machine as it will walk you through all the different options that you have when setting this design up to repeat itself.